Hey everyone, it's me, X Canadensis. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I post a new doll related video almost every single day. And in today's video, I am so excited. This is actually going to be my first time ever unboxing a Bratzilla's doll. I have only ever gotten them secondhand. A lot of mine were gifts from my friend, the doll mod Maven. So huge shout out to her. Uh, you can see mine back here, actually. They're always kind of in this shot. And the reason I bought this set is not only was it super cheap, on aliexpress and i will link where i got mine in the description it's not an affiliate link i'm not sponsored by them it's just to help you guys out because i know bratzillas are becoming more popular and they're really expensive so people um, have trouble adding them to their collections and i'm really excited to unbox this set and see what it's about i was super into the create a monster monster high dolls when they were in stores anyway i bought this not only because it was cheap but also because if you look over there i have blue body pink head i don't have the other one, pink body, blue head, or you can switch them obviously and have it be blue body, blue head, but you know. Um, so now I'm gonna have both, which is super exciting for me. And yeah, so this is what the packaging looks like. So I got this on AliExpress and it seems like it was actually in good condition when they shipped it, but it's AliExpress. I got the cheapest shipping, so they kind of smashed it, but it's fine. I was planning to unbox it anyway. If you are an inbox collector, I don't recommend buying stuff from AliExpress because the chances are pretty high that they're going to pack it in a, not even a bubble mailer, just like, like a plastic packaging thing over it, which is exactly how mine arrived. And you can see the full Switch -a Witch set here. And with this, I will finally have the full set, which is super exciting because I think these dolls rock. They are so, so cool. So you can see everybody here. And two of them that are shown here, I believe, are like expansion sets and then like that aren't full dolls. And then four of them are the actual two packs. So this is the two pack. This is probably a two pack. And then these are the expansion dolls, I think. And then you can see a bunch of different combinations you could do. I believe I have the international variant packaging for this, which is kind of interesting just to note because look at all of the different addresses for MGA. So I think this was a european release anyway now we're gonna get this out of the box i don't think this is going to be a clean unboxing because of all the crunch going on but i don't know let's get it out of the box this was pretty frustrating to unbox i got the tray out because of the super melted tape so if you're wondering like what's going on how did i get this 10 year old set pristine brand new like this from china and why are there so many more there it's basically dead stock so sometimes whatever company makes the dolls, in this case MGA, will cancel their order or the dolls will have been overproduced by the factory and then they just sit in warehouses in China and then eventually someone ends up buying them and slapping them up on AliExpress. So it happens a lot and sometimes with some really rare doll lines. And with Bratzillas, they've been readily available for years. Like this is no secret in the doll community if you've been around for a while. Bratzillas have been pretty readily available on AliExpress. Some of the rarer ones too, but they tend to get snatched up quick. I know Ileana Honesty who is one of my personal favorites. You can see her right there. I got mine on AliExpress. So um, she's still somewhat available, but she is one of the harder ones to get on AliExpress because people like her a lot. Um, so that's kind of what happened here. And if you're wondering what Bratzilla's is, this was basically Bratz's response to Monster High. So they wanted to make like a weird um, doll line similar, like a monstrous doll line. So they went with witches and I really like Bratzillas. I think they're awesome. So this is kind of a difficult thing to review here. And if you're wondering like, why are the dolls like in pieces like this? So this is Switch -a Witch. It's uh, Bratz's response to create a monster. And there was a trend in the like early 2010s to make these create your own doll sets. And I really, really loved the create a monsters as a kid, even though basically you would always create the same doll. Um, <laughs> but with these, I thought they're pretty cool because they have this Harlequin thing going on. All of the Switch Witches did. So you could like mix and match like the blue with the pink and it would work because you had that Harlequin theme. So I think Switch Witches were really cool for that. And wow, the it's cool to see the joint isolated like this. Um, anyway, so I'm just going to show you the notable pieces. So we have this head and Bratzillas have inset eyes and they're really, really beautiful. So I mean, look at those eyes, side glancing, love the eyelashes, and the yellow lips are a really interesting contrast choice. You also might get some like rotted rubber bands on these because they've been sitting in a warehouse forever. And I really like the plastic that they use on these dolls. And yeah, so this is the one that I did not already have. So now I have all of the Switch of Witches, which is very exciting because I really like these. And when I was younger, because um, these came out when I was 13 or 14 years old. Um, I was just super into Monster High. I didn't have like a huge doll budget, obviously. So I went for these, or sorry, I went for Create a Monster over these, but I did really want these, uh, but they kind of disappeared from stores and didn't really come back because they didn't do super hot. 
uh ooh, love the eyes on these so these are yellow sparkly eyes with like little flowers in them this one kind of had little stars i mean these are just breathtaking beautiful and these are made to be easily swappable uh i don't know if the heads swap easily actually because that they're packaged on so let me check the packaging yeah i don't know if you can pull the heads off it looks like you should be able to but i'm a little bit scared i'll try it on this one later because i already have this one so if i break her i won't be that devastated but all right and then you get a bunch of other parts you get to swap in so like these are the lower leg and foot i'm actually kind of surprised um these are the same leg so you can't do like a pink and a blue leg right because they're the same foot so that's kind of weird um but yeah so these are the lower legs and then we'll do all the body parts first and then we'll get to the accessories these are the thighs so you get and they're also for each side as you can see get a white and a pink and a blue and a pink so that was the problem with these create your own doll sets i feel like you really only had like one option that would make the dolls look really good and these harlequin sets like i said earlier definitely helped do more because with monster high if you had done like the witch parts and the cat parts together so green and pink body parts you could do that but it would just look really strange but because these are designed with this harlequin thing going on i feel like it worked better than with monster high like in my opinion the monster high created monster dolls are really fun but not necessarily because of the create your own aspect because the create your own aspect other than the wigs wasn't really super effective so you get oh these are two arm parts so you get the pink full arm which you gotta i've never really okay it's a tight fit but it's relatively easy to put in so that's the pink arm and then a white arm and then there's another white arm and a blue arm and again you could totally do like that or you could do like that so up to you and then lastly for the just like body parts and not accessory parts you have hands and some rotted rubber bands for us to chew on later kidding they're like really sticky rotted rubber bands they're not super pleasant to chew on i'm totally kidding <laughs> um okay so you've got white and blue and pink and white again with the rubber bands which um wet washcloth or soak them in the hot soapy water whichever all right so now we're gonna put together each of our dolls so let me change the camera i read the instructions bit. and it said the head should just come right off so i pulled harder and it did come off it feels like i'm gonna break it though this definitely seems a lot more fragile than the monster high way of doing it although i have broken the monster high heads before but it's because that was scary see so you have to be really careful when you're popping the head back in and then i feel like the head is a lot looser than before so versus this doesn't shake around nearly as much so that's something to look out something to look out for so unless you're like really have your heart set on doing a head swap i don't really recommend it i did want to do the pink head with the pink body and the blue head with the blue body but i'm going to be putting these together kind of as the set implies i guess just for simplicity's sake here so that means well i think i'm going to change it up a little bit so you're supposed to do like the blue limbs and blue like everything blue and white on this one i think but i'm going to do pink limbs i think because I don't know <laughs> i feel like that's slightly more fun so like this pink one which i think goes on this side yeah that makes the most sense here so like doing the pink here and then the white here will just help break up the monotony a little bit so let me see this looks like the right one for this so you can tell with the elbows because oh wait yeah because you want this facing the front i believe so that would go here and pretty simple swapping experience but bratzillas are a bit rubberier than monster idols are so you definitely like get a little bit more bending and it's a bit more intimidating than when you do the monster high creative monsters if you have experience with those and those are really the only other and the get rubber band boogers so sorry about that it's gross um those are the only ones i really have experience with are the creative monsters but now the bratzillas ones too and yeah, I feel like these were probably a rush to get these out to compete with the Monster High ones. So they're definitely not as polished, but this is still fun. Okay, so now we're going to do the legs. Should I switch back to blue for the legs so we get like both? Oh, but the blue would be on this side, which I think is kind of lame. So um, the pink would be on this side as well, but that helps break up 
all the blue. Yeah, I think I think we're doing pink legs. But I feel like the outfit's going to cover up most of the blue body, but the neck will definitely show. And I think that is enough for me. Um, definitely this joint, which is one of my favorites on Bratzilla's. I really like that it's there. It's a bit um, perilous on a doll that I'm swapping parts on. Like, it's scary <laughs> a little bit. I really wish that this was the other leg, but you see what I mean? Like they're not as customizable as you would think they are. And then when it tells you there's 2000 plus combinations, it's like, yeah, I guess technically there are, but are they combinations that anyone's gonna actually do? No, like, I guess I could count like putting the blue hand here instead as a like a one of the things you could do, but am I gonna call it that? No, I'm not. Um, okay, so this is the slight change that I've made. So she's going to be mostly pink, but she's going to have the blue torso. Because I think that's kind of interesting. Oh, also, Bratzilla's sit funny. Like, they can't really sit well because of the way their legs are. So you have to kind of lean them back to sit. It's not ideal. So, yeah. Okay, next, this doll. So now I don't really have to explain as much, I feel. So we're just going to get it going. And the, the bodies are really nice quality. Like, I really like the material they're made out of. But the limbs, I guess this is a personal preference thing, but they're pretty rubbery. And for me, I don't like when limbs are rubbery like this because it's scary to me because it feels like they're going to snap. Well, not snap in the same way as a hard plastic. I feel like there's a happy medium to me, and these just freak me out a little bit. All right, let's put the white hand on the blue arm. And get this. <laughs> the blue hand on the white arm. What? But this Chimera look, again, I definitely think the Creative Monsters, like, advertised doing the Chimera look, but they looked really weird, so nobody really did it. Uh, although I have seen, like, secondhand listings with the Creative Monsters. That's also really scary, by the way, the hard plastic on the hard plastic. Uh, <laughs> I've seen secondhand listings of the Creative Monster Monster High Dolls with the Chimera look going on, so maybe kids were doing it. Or they lost some of the parts, that's also possible. Okay, so this is what my two dolls are going to look like for the purposes of this review. I might switch them up after this is over. I don't know. I'm just, but yeah, I just love their faces. I think they're so gorgeous. I do wish though that maybe the blue and pink were swapped on these. So like the blue was on this side and then that would make, I don't know. Cause they both have white on the same side. So, and if that was the case, then we would have more mix and match options. I feel with the way that they're arranging things. Anyway, also Bratz in general that are articulated and Bratzilla's included have like really weirdly long arms and this does check out for like yeah your arms are going to reach this low on you but like they have really really long legs so it makes the arms look ridiculous like they have short torsos and long legs anyway now it's time <laughs> they don't sit well at all should have had the brat swing chair here next let's take a look at the accessories and i definitely think the bratzillas come with a really good amount of accessories and the quality of them seems pretty good too just based on the ones that i already have really <laughs> uh so like Here's one of the hats. Unfortunately, the rubber band is rotted on this, so I'm not going to be able to have her wear it. I'll just sit it on her head. Um, you can put another rubber band through there, but it's kind of irritating that I have to because I probably shouldn't have to, but it's because this is old and sitting in a warehouse, so I can't really blame them too much. Like, that's, yeah, that's going to snap easily. But every Bratzilla's character had a little hat, so it's very cute that your create-your-own ones also have hats. And then we have the bracelets, which is a really fun addition that it comes with jewelry. So you get this pink studded one, but the studs are not painted. And these did have rubber bands holding them in place. So they've got the rotted rubber bands on them. So excuse those little particles you're seeing. And that's a little black one with gold. And then we have the wigs, which I probably should have, I should have included these probably as a body part. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut. Maybe this one will just pop right out. Yeah. Okay. So the wigs have some kind of wax and gel. So they're kind of sticky right out the gate. So this wig is a short blonde and yellow one. This is very interesting. So I think I'm probably going to give this one to the blue haired girl because she has the yellow lips. I really like this wig. I think this is really cool. I definitely think that Bratzilla's did a better job with the wigs that they gave the characters. I feel like they were just more interesting and fun. A lot of the Monster High wigs are like absolutely nightmarishly awful in my opinion. So uh, most people during that time especially... We're just using live doll wigs or finding ways to literally reroute the creative monsters despite that creative monsters had these hard caps on the back of their head kind of like this but on the bratzillas it's still soft so you could easily reroute them i think you could anyway i don't know maybe the heads are super thick and they wouldn't allow it okay and oh this wig is so soft so they they both have saran wigs by the way which is weird because bratzillas generally use polypropylene hair um this wig is also quite nice because it is just a wig cap type of wig but it doesn't have bangs most of the time they'll have bangs because that covers up the wig cap really easily but in this case 
both sides you cannot see the wig cap i think this is intended to be back but you can't see the wig cap and you could do it this way if you wanted to or you could do it this way so i think that's super super cool and ridiculously high quality really really impressive it's very uh oily feeling because it has some kind of wax in it Alrighty, and then the outfits which are probably yeah they're sewn in here as well so we're just gonna kind of carefully get those out of here perfect we have this puff sleeve one and it's really nice so this is organza material on the sleeves and this material i i know of it from other dolls and it can flake so you want to be careful i think that's this material i honestly can't tell I think this is the one where it can rub, so just be careful with that. And then this is satin. So, yeah, super cute clothing. Like, I was, I'm so impressed with these, especially as I'm older. As a kid, I don't think I grasped, like, what they were trying to do with these. But I definitely think the designers saw the weaknesses of the creative monsters and decided to work, like, on those and make it better. Here's the pants, which are so cute and interesting. So sweet. It does have glitter that sheds quite a bit, uh, just painted on top of printed satin, but pretty nice. I really like these. And then this is the outfit of the doll that I never had, which is the blue-headed girl. So this is the outfit kind of intended for her. This is a really interesting little top. So it's got a capelet, this little rose, and then a little crop top underneath. And oh, I... Oh, it looks like, okay, they're, they're separate pieces. I was like, that's weird that they're connected. All right, so here's the little crop top. It is satin, so the sewn thing for packaging kind of, oh, hello. It left holes though, see? But I didn't realize there were straps, cool. So this is the little top. This would be really cute for restyling other dolls, actually. That's a really nice piece. And then you get this little capelet. And I was surprised, actually, that these dolls don't come with capes because a lot of the creative, or er, creative monster, a lot of the Bratzilla's dolls actually come with capes. And that's like part of the theming. Despite being called witches, they're very uh, like Harry Potter inspired. And then you have this pleated bubble type skirt because it's folded inward. This is a really interesting skirt. I really like it, though. The flower theming is darling with the yellow and pink flowers. And the color of it is really nice. I like the gold sparkles. And yeah, that's a super cute piece. I'm excited to see what this outfit looks like on. And then we have the blue shoes. So these are the blue fuzzy boots. They're just like, they're, they're very rubbery feeling. These are not my favorites. These are not my favorite, but they are cute. And then these are the superior shoe. Little cross ribbon type high heel. I don't know. They're very cute. I think these are very nice. I love the colors. And I think they're going to look really good with Miss Pink Body here. And I think I'm like, I, I really like that I decided to switch them because this one I think was supposed to have the pink arm and pink legs. And like this would not look nearly as cute on a pink foot. I don't know. I like the contrast and they're sitting so weird. It's just Bratzilla's are very weird dolls. Like the bodies are so strange. Anyway, then we have the earrings. So we've got these little circle earrings in blue and white and then you've got these little geometric earrings in pink and yellow it's kind of an off like i don't know it has like some other color to it but i can't really tell what and really rotted rubber bands on those if you buy these sets on aliexpress especially um the chances are very high again that they've been sitting in a warehouse so you're going to be getting those melted rubber bands so just be prepared for that if you are looking into these and then you have a Bratzilla's brush. I'm not 100% sure if I have a Bratzilla's brush. I might have one that uh, the Doll Mod Maven sent me. But anyway, there's the brush. It's very, very cute. Little witch's broom. All right, I'm going to dress both of my dolls up to what you would expect. Oh, by the way, if you're used to other customizable dolls, these do not have any kind of peg, which I think was really cool because it makes it easily able to swap them between different types of dolls, like Monster High, for example. So um, you just kind of pop them on the head. Obviously you need to switch it around a little bit, but I'm pretty impressed with these because they actually stay on really well despite not having anything to hold them in place. So really, really high quality, good execution on doing that. And that's how the rooting is done, by the way, if you're curious. It's kind of braided, woven? I don't know what you call that. I don't even know how they do this. I wish I knew though, because I would love to be able to make these little wigs for my dolls. It would just be so convenient. They're so cute. Okay, I'm gonna dress my dolls. I'll be Here right. are our new Bratzilla Switch Witch dolls all put together and this is what they're looking like so i think i was wrong i think the white one goes on the legs but i like the pink i like adding the pops of pink although 
her outfit definitely covers the majority of her like pink areas on the torso so it's not obvious but I liked adding the little pops of pink everywhere and then of course her outfit is pink uh I definitely have a hard time posing these dolls because they're Bratzillas <laughs> it's just Bratzillas they they really needed to spend more time developing these because there's a lot of weirdness also I guess they have a long chest to where the breast is which I think which is more accurate to real life I think um oops. but uh that makes the shirt fit kind of strange and the shirt actually doesn't close in the back like that's as much as I could get it that might just be mine but I thought that was kind of weird and that's why the straps aren't really sitting where they're supposed to either of course the hats I've just sat them on the heads but aren't these so cute? Oh, another quality issue with these. I mean, reviewing a doll from 10 years ago, I'm not going to be like, oh, they should fix this because like they can't, <laughs> right? Like it's been a while. But the earrings are super soft. So when you try to put them into the head, which is hard, it well, they're decently soft heads, but they're pretty hard heads compared to a lot of other dolls, especially compared to the earrings, which are quite soft and on like thin plastic they're trying to push in, they bend. So I bent that one. It didn't snap, but it could definitely snap. And you can just see how awkward the posing is on these dolls, especially the legs. It's really hard to make the legs not look stupid. I did a good job there, but with these um, heels, these specific heeled boots, I'm having a lot of trouble. And with these pants, it's not helping either. Like, see what I mean? The hat fell again. Um, and then the wigs are gorgeous. Both of them are really, really cute. I'm not sure how I feel about the blonde. I don't know why they did blonde for both. I think just doing... It was probably meant to be a straight white, to be honest. I think they probably just didn't have that because if you look with our other saran haired ones they don't have straight white they have blonde on all the other switch witch dolls so yeah I think that's probably what happened is they were like whatever we don't have white saran off the like handy right now and white saran does exist but it always goes a little blonde like a little bit yellow looking in my experience it's it's almost never like a pure marshmallow white like you're gonna get that with Kineclon and polypropylene and nylon but usually not with saran saran comes pretty blonde as you can see um so I, I think that's the biggest misstep of the design of these dolls is that the blonde looks pretty silly with them and I will say that if you look they're blonde here but in the in this graphic that they show of the different mixing and matching things you can do it's blonde still, but it's definitely whiter looking. And you can also see that the original design was a bob, like a straight bob. And this one is kind of curled, but you could get that to be more of a straight bob. But it comes pretty curled, like even the bangs are curled. So that's kind of interesting. And you can see different mix and match situations here. And you can definitely mix and match the lower arms just fine because they're not, it doesn't matter what side you put them on. So you can see they've done that chimera look and it actually looks good with this and with monster high respectfully i don't like how it looks monster high was just like a diy kit to make a set doll <laughs> like you couldn't really do much except with like the wings and stuff but not very many of them even came with wings and ears and things so it's kind of weird um but yeah that is it for this review i wanted to make this review because for, first of all you guys know i love making vintage doll reviews like i love to show off dolls that aren't currently on the shelves it's just fun that's one of my collecting interests of course I just like dolls in general but also because these are really easy to get right now so if you're looking for Bratzilla's dolls check AliExpress I can't vouch for the authenticity and perfection of everything on AliExpress but I bought from a specific shop and got these dolls and had a good experience in the past I've bought other Bratzilla's dolls on AliExpress and been fine uh, obviously there can be issues but in my experience it's been pretty good so yeah that's it for this video. I'd love to know what you guys think. If you have Bratzilla's dolls, who is your favorite one? My favorite one, my favorite Bratzilla's, if we zoom in over here. I love my Switch Witch dolls, but it's definitely Victoria Antique or this specific Cloetta. I just love the Midnight Beach dolls. I wish I had more of those. They are so, so cool. They're so, so cute. Um, but Switch Witch to me almost feels like a different doll line than Bratzilla's. Like, as soon as you remove the hats, they're just these really funky, cool harlequin dolls and that's really unusual other than like harley quinn you don't really see harlequin dolls and i think these rock they're really really cool they really make use of the like chimera situation that you get from this style of doll custom set and i i really think these rock i think these are really really fun and in my opinion i the only i don't know of all of them but i know there was a lala loopsie set that was similar to this there's the bratzillas one there's the creative monsters in every iteration they've had I think Inner Monster, which was one of the Creative Monster things, and these are the best of this gimmick. And I think the Bratzillas are the best, like number one. 
of dolls that did this gimmick, at least in the early 2010s, the ones that I'm super familiar with, these rock. These absolutely rock. I I think they're super, super cool. And I'm really glad that so many doll lines decided, well, not so, so many, but like quite a few doll lines decided to tackle this. And it was really fun. The results vary a bit. Like there's some weirdness and pointlessness. Like with the original Create a Monster Monster High dolls, they didn't come with enough torsos to make like two full dolls, even though it was a set called like, um, what was one of the original ones? Like Dragon and Sea Monster, I think was one of them. I don't remember if those two came together, but you know, it would come with two, but it wouldn't come with the torso for one of the two. So you could only make one complete doll at a time. And if you wanted to make, say, the sea monster, you would have to use like the pink torso for it. So it was really stupid. So, <laughs> and they righted that wrong later and would include two torsos from then on. And it wasn't just the torso, it was the upper arm and the upper leg too. Uh, and they had to sell like an extra torso pack on the Mattel website, which my mom bought for me and I was so grateful. That was really cool. And then also like if you bought the expansion packs, you wouldn't get a full doll. The expansion packs you could only use with a full set, which is fine because it's called an expansion set, but the colors wouldn't match. So you would never have like a complete doll. It was really annoying. So uh, they did fix that later on, but like Create a Monster had a really rough start in my opinion because of that. I still enjoyed it a lot though. Um, okay, that's it. Again, I will put a link in the description. It's not a link that earns me money in any way. I just wanted to share this with you guys. So yeah, for all this time, thanks so much for watching.